السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اوکے ناؤ لیٹ اس اسٹارٹ ٹو لرن ٹو ڈرا دا رے ڈائگرام فار دا کنکیو مرر وین دی آبجیکٹ از ان بٹوین انفینیٹی اینڈ سینٹر آف کرویچر اوکے سو ایز پر دا آبجیکٹ پوزیشن آر رے ڈائگرام ول بی کنسٹرکٹیڈ کریکٹ سو ہیئر دا آبجیکٹ پوزیشن از گیون بٹوین انفینیٹی اینڈ سینٹر آف کرویچر And as per the ray diagram which we will draw, we will write down our conclusion of these four points. So here I am taking 6 cm You all can take more than 6 cm also. I'm drawing my okay I'm drawing over here my concave mirror this is the part of the concave mirror which I'm drawing and here at this point where my pointer is you can see at this point will be my I'll name it as center of curvature C because uh, taking this as a center we are drawing the concave mirror so this will be my center of curvature Okay, this is the point of center of curvature. Concave mirror. Okay. And here, through this point, center of curvature, I am drawing my principal axis. So this is my principal axis and here this point we will name it as what P, pole, okay. Because pole is the center of the reflecting surface of the concave mirror. So this is my point P, pole, this is my center of curvature point C and exactly at the middle of this between C and P my point F, principal focus will be there. So to here. Since P and the distance between P and C is 6 cm, you all can see. So at 3 cm, I will take my point F. Okay, I will consider my point F, that is principal focus. Now where is the object position? It is between the infinity and the center of curvature. That means infinity means very far away. So very far away object is and it is beyond center of curvature so that means we will draw our object over here somewhere here okay beyond center of curvature and infinity so we will name the object as AB you can draw the object uh, height as you can take it as 1.5 cm 2 cm so here I am taking my object height as 1.5 cm so you can see I have taken as 1.5 cm my object AB this is my object AB which is 1.5 cm in height okay now following those those three rules the incident ray of light which goes parallel to the principal axis so following the first rule I am drawing my incident ray of light which is parallel to principal axis So this ray of light is going parallel to my principal axis. This, this, this line is my principal axis, correct? So this incident ray of light going parallel to the principal axis strikes the concave mirror and where it will go? It will pass through the focus. So the reflected ray of light, we have to pass it through focus. <coughs> So this is the reflected ray of light which we are passing through the focus. Okay, that is my first rule. We have learned that. Now second rule states that the line which passes through the focus, where it will go? It will go parallel to the principal axis. Okay, and third rule states that the line which goes, passes through the center of curvature, it retraces the same path. So you can follow 
uh, out of the three rules if with two rules you are like, getting your image then that's okay you cannot go you it's no need to go for the third rule any two rules you all can apply and if you are like, getting the uh, image over there no need to apply the third rule So this is which rule I have applied over here. I am passing my incident ray of light through the focus. If I am passing my incident ray of light through the focus, the reflected ray of light, it strikes the surface over here, the concave mirror. And where it will go? It will go parallel to the principal axis. This is my principal, this is our principal axis, the middle line. Okay. So we will draw. You can see over here, the incident ray of light passing through the focus strikes the surface of the concave mirror and it goes parallel to the principal axis. Now you can see the, the here the intersection of two lines taking place. This reflected ray of light, the first reflected ray of light and the second reflected ray of light. They are meeting over here at this point. So we, we are getting our image over here. Okay. So this is our image and it is you can see it is inverted image because it is formed beyond the uh, it is formed uh, below the principal axis correct y you can see this image formed below the principal axis and it is inverted image a dash b dash this is our image a dash b dash in real and inverted image okay you can see over here so depending upon this uh, ray diagram we will write down this information so our ray diagram is completed you can see our image where it is formed its position of the image is between c and f it is between center of curvature and focus the image is formed okay and if you s compare the size of the image with the size of the object okay you can see it is smaller than the size of the object this is the height of the object ab this is the height of the image so position of the object what is the position of the object it, it is given in the question it is between infinity between infinity and center of curvature okay position of the image where the image is formed between c and f between C and F between center of curvature and principal focus our image is formed okay then what is the nature of the image you can see what is the nature of the image what you will write it down it is inverted image correct so you can write it down it's real and inverted image because you can say it is formed below the principal axis the image which is formed below the principal axis its nature will be what its nature will be real and inverted so real and inverted image then size of the image okay so size of the image if, if you compare the size of this image with the size of the object it is smaller than the smaller than the object So I hope you all have understood the concept how to draw the ray diagram. This is very easy. Just, you just have to follow the three rules and draw the ray diagram. And as per the ray diagram, you will write down your conclusion of these four points. Okay. This is the first rule which we have. You can see the incident ray of light strikes the surface over here. And the reflected ray of light go, passes through the focus. And then I have taken the second rule. The incident ray of light passing through the focus and then it strikes the surface of the concave mirror and it goes parallel to the principal axis you can see these two reflected rays are meeting over here at this point so at this point your image is formed and you will name it as a dash b dash okay this is your image so i hope so you have understood thank you so much